Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Blaze Blue Entropy Effect, an action roguelike with fighting game inspired combat that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. Let's pop on in and see what the game's all about. Obviously, it takes place in the Blaze Blue universe, which is a popular fighting game if Hello, you are not Ace familiar. In we go. Ace. The mind training module is now activated. Go to your right to take part in it. Okay. Visually already is looking quite neat. Please activate the training terminal. Your default prototype is Hibiki Kahaku. Press confirm to start your mind training. Interesting. Hibiki Kohaku. Here we go. What do we got? We got a little bit of a slash. Different slash. Aerial attack. Press the circle triangle. Neat. Okay. Very cool. Now, please move to your right. Jump to get on the stairs. You can double jump while you are airborne. Dash. Dash. Dash traps or enemy Whoop. attacks. Press down and jump to drop down from a platform. God, this it if looks really neat. Enemy, press and hold attack to use a heavy strike. Press and hold to use a heavy. Gotcha. Could I get another enemy? Your skills can help you handle multiple Triangle. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, okay. It looks like the heavy maybe is uh, a little bit of a... Uh, what the hell? Types HP is low. We suggest you use oh. an HP mixture to heal it. It's on, on purpose. She got really quiet all of a sudden. Now, it's time for the real mind training to begin. All right. Tutorial done already? So we can do like a little bit of a... Oh. We can do a launcher, but they don't really have any help. Oh, that feels... That feels nice. Whoop. Okay. Oh, you literally, you can't move his, through his shield. That's what was going on. This is stuff that's good to know now. So when he puts up his shield, like, not only does it block attacks, he literally Once makes it so you can't move through. Spaces, you'll face an elite sample. Gotcha. So these are spaces or rooms. Sample Samples are enemies. No enemies in this room? Okay. You there? Oof. What are we dealing with here? What are we dealing with there? Oh, that was a mistake. Or wait, do they come back to me? Yes, they do. Oh, that is so cool. It definitely has like the visual flair and style of a f oh, a fighting game. The fear I would have with that is Make it, okay, select attack to get stronger. The fear I have with that is that often fighting games go over the top with visuals in a way that if you are not fighting another player, we might have a little bit of a disadvantage here against the game. Basic attacks deal more damage, inflict a stack of cold. When dashing, summon a thunderbolt. Summon three lightning orbs that orbit for five seconds, dealing damage after every time they hit a sample. After they expire, they have a 10 second cooldown. I'll admit, I don't know what that means. Is that an actual attack that we get? No, it's a it's a passive. Gotcha. Okay, so it's just it is just a thing that happens every once in a while. Whoop. Do they have like some kind of armor to them? It looks like they did. Bye, dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. dirt. Go. This is really, really tight. I, I I, will say, like, the movement and the feel feels really good in a way that, like, you can tell there's some fighting game experience with player control. Different spaces with different effects will be in place. Don't know what those are. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going with the training. I think it's just picking, like, a type of zone. Like, visual and, like, maybe the uh, the enemies that might be present. Maybe, like, the traps and stuff. So, I'm good with the keeping at the training zone for now. Oh, come on. Oh, God, we have, like, a down, down slam that we can do in the air. That is... Okay, so... They can get, uh, like, an armor. You see that little... They glow red a little bit there. Gotcha. Get in the fire. 
don't know if they can. Should I heal? Large lightning orb. Lightning orbs become larger in range and do 38% more damage. Or we can get the cold attack. I mean, I like the orbs. We'll go with a cold attack. Fire projectiles on holding our special does sound interesting too. Or is it just on cast? Maybe it's just on cast. Improves and expands your character's arsenal. Potentials can synergize with one another. Gain potential. If only it was that easy. Dual wing double smash dash skill to split into two. One attacking upward, the other attacking forward and upward. When the clone is attacked, it explodes into AOE. After using a skill and before retrieving glaives, dash also attacks enemies. Press and hold the skill to summon clones that attack nearby enemies. Interesting. That sounds fun. That's pretty cool. So it uses the, what, M MP? Is that what it's called? Exchange. Spend exchange points to get rewards. Okay, for the sake of curiosity, usually I like to wait for a while to go to, like, a shop. You can use exchange points to buy supplies. These exchange points are what you get upon defeating a sample, and they only last in the current battle. They only last in the current battle. I mean, I guess I'll recover some health. Reduce entropy by 70%. I don't know what that means yet. It's the symbol I see in the upper right. Reduce entropy, clear a random corruption. I don't think I have a corruption. I could reduce my entropy, but like, the tutorial didn't... Um? Yeah, they really went for it right there. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I was talking about right there. That is a downside of the cool visuals of a game like this, is you lose a lot of um, clarity in the mix there. Like, I was holding down the triangle and like the fancy visual effects that it was doing made it a little bit trickier to tell if an enemy was going to be attacking me or not. Uh, that being said, like the more you play, the more you'd get used to that and the less it would be an impactful thing. Oh, this is a, oh, this is a boss. Or an elite sa- Uh, hello? Okay. Got a slam. I uh, don't know what that is. Okay, a little bit of a kick. Okay, just keep going, just keep going. I cannot see a single thing. What just happened? Where? What is this? What a choice that is. So that, when he does that, that just means the, uh... I can't see, man. That means that the, um, fire's going off. Okay. I'm trying to dash through him, it won't let me. Jesus, man. Yeah, that is visual effect overload, dude. Basic attack skill. Use basic attack skill to grab an enemy before jumping into the air and then striking it down. That's cool. Down skill to slash nearby enemies in a very large range multiple times. Skill does 40% more damage. The whirlwind roll, we saw that one. So can this be used with the hold? No? It seems like we have to, that's maybe something we have to charge up. Maybe it says SP down there by the symbol. Maybe we need to hit some enemies in order to like get that going. Okay, but yeah, we want to throw the, uh, God, what's this guy do? He's got like a big old jar on his, get down, jar on his back. Oh, he go kaboom. That's, should have probably assumed that one. So it looks like there is ways to, uh, to ground enemies kind of as a sort of form of knockdown or like a stun, hit stun. Upon taking hit trigger a freezing wind. Inflicts five stacks of cold. So cold, I think it said that it slowed down enemies. When you take a hit, generate a blade storm. 
Defeating a sample inflicted with cold increases ice tactic damage by 3.6%, stacking five times your set when you take a hit. Um, this is basically play well to get rewarded, and this is play bad to get rewarded. So, since I'm brand new to the game, probably should go with the play bad to get rewarded kind of thing. Um, sure. Rewards at random. Sam defeat samples for reward. Sortito. I guess I kind of want to go to... Oh, I don't have any heal. Let's actually go to the exchange and buy some health. Again, like, whenever you're playing, a, like, a roguelike for the first time, I feel like, you know, eventually what you want to do is to not have to spend money on stuff like this, on just health, so you can buy strength. But when you're just learning a roguelike for the first time, it's, you know, usually a good call. So, interestingly enough, this does not seem to heal you. Or I guess let's find out. For Again, the rest let's gather rest data. Whoa. Entropy. The higher your entropy, the higher the chance to be inflicted with corruption effects. Okay. Minus 80 down to 34. Okay. So it's like a curse meter. To be lots of powerful samples for lots of rewards. All right, let's go die here. Let's go die here and figure out if we need like a meta progress thing. Oh God. Is that guy gonna go kaboom? Seems it. Get out of here, man. Where am I? I don't know, but they don't know either. Never let you know where you are. Okay. Right, what a cool attack that one is. Ooh, get out. Worm man. Ooh, get out. I have no idea what kind of attacks they're doing, but I am knowing that I'm not getting hit. So I'll take it. That was it? He's a god? Another extensive... And then they're saying, Ah, you're a guard, eh? Well, here's another extensive training. Jerk. So, as far as lots of rewards, I don't really know what... I'll, I'll trust you. Oh, oop. You know what? Let's get, let's get rid of these guys first, since they're a bit of a bother. Get out. Ah, I tried. The uh, the red, like, AoE effects and stuff like that are actually pretty good for telegraphing. It's kind of just like the normal attacks and stuff like that that get completely lost in the, uh, in the flow. There's a spike on the ceiling. There's a snake in my boots. Here. Okay, go, 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 go. Slow him down, slow him down, slow him down. Don't worry about it. We get like an extra combo. Ooh. That man gonna blow up, I think. Gotta get ready for that. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. See, that is the thing. We should have known that that was coming. We did We did actually have info knowing that that was going to happen. When a skill lands a hit, inflict rend on the samples for 10 seconds. They take damage every time they move. Dash, you can inflict burn on nearby samples. Every stack of cold takes more ice tactic damage. That's actually kind of good. We stack up a decent amount. This is... That... By the way, this is not a visual bug. I mean, I guess. It's just... um, This is me trying to heal, but I don't have healing. Give me, give me rewards at random. Ooh. Thanks. Could be worse. It is usable. Go back to the exchange. This time we can actually uh, heal and stuff as well. We can heal and do something else. We could uh, heal and reduce our entropy. Do I care? I don't know. 
I don't want to keep on reducing entropy forever because I do kind of want to, for science, know what happens at max entropy. Okay, just watch the man. I can hit enemies into spikes as well, it does seem. Get out! Oh! Trying to be careful. I got hit by something. Oh, that man threw he threw something at me from off screen. If we are a bold man, we can just kill them instead. Oh, oh that lasts longer than I thought. Ah, uh, a bold man I was, but a stupid man I was as well. Oh my god, it lasts longer. It, it just lasts longer than I would think, which sucks. Shoot. When the skill lands, it hits up at a poison ring, inflicting poison on samples. Cold lasts longer. Samples inflicted with cold take... See, this is like... We're going for like a synergy here. Still have no healing. I have nothing to do with that. I guess I'll just keep going. We, we, need, uh, we need money in order to heal the next time we... Uh, offered a little bit of stuff. Okay, get ready. Blast that and then and then run. 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 Okay, I got that out of the way. Whoop, whoop. The hell is Oh, is it teleport? What? Get out. I'm not, I feel like I want to use my ground slam, but it's just like, it's, it seems like it's so, uh, takes a long time to get it. So I have good, too good to use syndrome with that one, you know? It takes a long time to get it back, it looks like. No! Okay, there's, here's where I die. I have 300 health, sight reading a boss in the game where you can't see stuff. <laughs> good luck. Oh, this is cool, though. Oh. Uh, yeah, I can't I can't roll through him. Okay. About to die already. Get out. Is that just like a healing aura for his allies? I think it might be. But these spikes look like they would maybe poison me. I just, like, don't want to chance that, you know? Ooh! Okay, yeah. Just a huge screen-wide thing. He actually had less chaos going on than the first boss, though. I will I will admit that readily. Now here's where we figure out if we have meta progress. That's what we figure out here. Feels like a game that would do it, you know? We'll see. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, who are you? I'm from the Ace Operation Division of the Skies. Eyes. I'm glad you answered the call. Oh, that's the way we address people who participate in the Ace Mind Training. I hope you're okay with it. I'm okay with it. Just watch the video of you going through your first mind training. Though you still have much to learn, you show great potential. Uh, been watching me creep? Don't worry, we're just monitoring your back-end data, that's all. Don't monitor, monitor my back-end. You just have to proceed with your mind training the usual way. I'll keep track of your progress. Get back to you when the time is right. It's that simple. I'm glad to be your personal guide. Do I love him? Okay. What the hell is... Is this like the, um... Like an achievement board? Oh, that's super cool. Hi. Hello, may I help you? My name is Dora. I'm in charge of the Mind Upgrades and Tactic Codex. You can spend AP on Mind Upgrades to unlock useful effects on your Mind Training session. Their information is always available to you. Tactic Codex, you can see the effects of any tactic you have obtained. Gotcha. I'd like to unlock Mind Upgrades. So, we have 400. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. <laughs> it's very much a... 
straight up a, a, a big upgrade point thing. I'll get a 25% max HP boost. If you complete six upgrades in the previous. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. So there it's there is a lot of meta progress. It, you know, you know right now whether or not that's good or good or not. Uh escape death. Recover 25% max HP. I mean, Death Defies in Hades, one of the you know, more impactful upgrades to get. Up we go. I do wonder if there's a mode without it, without the meta progress stuff, because I, I like the idea of just like a tight fighting game skill expression roguelike, you know? Uh, hi? Hey, sir. Hi. How may I help? What happened here? For unknown reason, the elevator went out of order. I'm trying to fix it now. Thanks. When are you going to get it done? It'll be done soon. Meanwhile, you can go do some mind training first. Okay. So what about uh, changing like characters or unlocking characters? That is that something I can? That's got that's mind training, we know that. But is there any other thing I can talk to to unlock a new character? My guess is maybe that's up one more. Yeah, it's out out of order. Whoa, the visuals are really cool. It's been a while. What information do you need this time? Who are you? The word who is often used when you are addressing a person. I don't think that I count as a person. If you'd like to know more about what I do, I'd be happy to tell you. I can give you a short answer or a more thorough answer. What would you like? Simple. Collecting and organizing a type of data called phenomena. I find it difficult to put into words you can easily understand, so my suggestion is that you should take a look for yourself if you want to understand. Activating phenomena for you now. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take some of that. Uh. It's just like... Is that like story unlock stuff like that? Sense you're feeling doubts. That is this. If you're asking about its category, I can tell you phenomena and visuals made of particles. If you're asking about the meaning, it's both the end and the beginning. Make more sense. I merely explained its meaning in a very simple way. Learning new things takes time. Don't rush it. After you watch more phenomena, perhaps you'll have new finds. Everything is potentially a piece of phenomena. I only show you the visions. How you will make of it is your choice. Then I'll wait until I find another. All right. So yeah, this seems like the kind of like lore or story. Uh... Oh, unlock. Oh my God! Come on! Now I want to go. Acer, hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thought I lost you. Data showed you were a complete mess just now. It wasn't like you went offline or took a training session. Found something strange in the second floor. From what I know, something like this should be present in Ace. Did something happen? Can you give me a rough idea what it is? Particles exploding everywhere, it's chaotic noise, nonsense. Well, it doesn't sound like anything that has to do with Ace. Alright. If it doesn't have an impact on your training, you can safely just put it behind you. <laughs> Isn't that unprofessional? Now, from my experience, putting things on the back burner is a great way to be stable and healthy. This is likely because you encountered a patch that wasn't out yet. Visuals you saw were probably placeholders, of course. If it proves to have a negative impact on you, we'll sure to let you know immediately. Okay. Alright. Out we go. I just kind of wanted to see if there was a chance of getting a... playing as a new character, but I think that that would maybe be over here if we had the ability to do it yet anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have... Okay, there's... We got quite a bit here. But there's no... Unlock that I have right at the beginning. I can earn more from mind challenges. Gotcha. Well, for now, I, I will just I'll hop back in. I'll give it another look. Give it another go. No guarantee at all that I'm gonna be doing any better though. Whoop, whoop. I'll I'll cheese it. 
<laughs> you are already dead. Okay. All right. Good deal. <laughs> that was like I could have done it in a safer way, but it was too fun to do it that way. It's one of those. How do I get up there? It's got a. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. All right, good deal. Should get a little bit more launcher action too. It's like stuff. It feels like unless I've got a bunch of them in a clump. I guess the launcher is the kind of the the better way to stun a little bit, I suppose. So it's clear. Oh, uh, I'll take the legendary. Even though it had to be, of course, the legendary had to be the, one of the only things I have used already. But I'm taking a legendary. Also, gonna fix my chair. One second. All right. What's on the character details? 100% more damage when attacking an enemy from behind. I wish I would have known that. When HP is no more than 30%, you won't lose more than 10% max HP when you take a hit. Oh, that's kind of nice. Potential synergies. Ooh. Very neat. What about lightning? Is there lightning? Or no, wait. Never mind. The synergies are between the other types of upgrades that we get. Okay, yeah. This, I mean... These orbs do be doing a lot. Yeah, okay. We were able to knock him out of his attack because of the, uh, the knock up there. Good to know, good to have. Whoop. <laughs> I give me go take me to Gamble Land. I hate gambling. I got an achievement for that at the very least. Uh exchange I have fifty six. Upon completion, recover three percent max HP. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I'll go here. I don't think I have enough uh, money to justify going to the other zone right now. Oh. Okay, when they have that blue armor, they can't be knocked up. Maybe? Upgrade coming. When dashing, use flash that blinds the samples, making them always miss. When skill lands... So I'm going to poison ring. I go for a poison ring. I want damage. <laughs> I think potential is a good, like a pretty big upgrade, isn't it? This is how we get the synergies. The glaive spawned by your skill will orbit around you before they're retrieved. Basic attack, jump, or dash basic attack, jump. Use special rising attack. Upon landing after you use an airborne attack, you attack in a larger range to deal more damage when followed up with a basic attack. It's directly... Hmm. Pretty interesting sounding, though. Double basic attack into a jump at the same time, or dash basic attack jump. Use a special rising attack. Oh. Gotcha. How do I... Okay, so... I have to attack first. Attack jump. <laughs> so we also have a dash attack, which is something that we probably have had the whole time. Exchange, I have 80 now. Let's keep on going until, like, when we go, we're going to be really getting some value. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We, like, straight up unlocked a legit new combo. <laughs> I will say, you probably should... The, the voice going the whole time, like, 
that is so... Oh my god. Fighting game? It's not even funny. Generate a corruption effect for the first time achievement. Reduce basic attack damage right before the boss. Gotcha. Alright, are you ready to be blinded? Are you ready to not see what's going on? Oh, he just straight up went for it that, huh? Okay. Back out of the fire. Ah. No, he's got a second attack there. Okay, as crazy as that is, I actually am pretty safe there. I can't see. <laughs> I did it. Complete Night City for the first time achievement? No, I did it in, t in the tutorial, sweetie. What are you talking about? I already did. Well, on the ground, basic attack to throw darts. Ooh. After using skill before retrieving the glaives, the first basic attack becomes powerful slash. Ground basic attack does more damage. Well, on the ground, down basic attack throws darts. I guess this probably, like, fits in better. I just got a puzzle piece. Out we go. Oh, this is a new zone. Trying to do this safely. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not ch cheese as much when you're not fighting another player in a fighting game, you know? I mean, it's still definitely cheese, but you don't need to feel bad about it. Whoa! What the hell? My eyes. I will say I have looked in the um, settings and there's not like a... A flashing lights thing or... Uh, it's not a flashing lights thing or anything like that that we could find. <laughs> HP mixtures fully replenish your HP. It's a blue tier. Every 1.5 seconds, the next basic attack triggers a light wave slash. The longer you've waited, the more damage you can deal. I'm not going to be... Eh, sure. Mixtures heal full HP. I'll wait until I'm a lot lower then. Reduced basic attack damage still. Goodbye, everyone. I am hurting, though. Get out. Get, guy, get out of here. We have created a absolutely chaotic woo, attack playstyle. Like, the fact that that's our optimal strat is launch him and then blast him down really, really quick. It's really fun. I can't deny. Bye. Bye. It seems your entropy is high. You have a chance to become affected by the corruption effect. I mean, I would like to... space to lower your entropy. This is the first time they actually, like... Whoop. Whoa! This is the first time they actually told me about it before I actually went. I think it's probably time for an exchange, right? 140, though? I know there's, like, one... Ah. Seems like there's a couple different options that we get so that we might not even... An extra eight. Okay. That's so expensive. Tactic experience up. See, this is why I thought that... Let's do it. Orbit of Lightning Orb expands and shrinks over time, and they do 38% more damage. I mean, we have the legendary version, so it sounds like it's probably a good call. <laughs> this is why I knew having... I was like, 140, it's an odd... Little number there. 3% uh, max HP on completion? Don't mind if I do. The hell out. 
Get out. Okay, we can't actually kill them to stop their explosion. It's not one of the ones where they explode when they die anyways. It's good intel. Oh. Rude. Get out of there. Ooh, get out! Holy damage! Okay, the radius on that is very annoying. It has full aerial coverage, too. Whoop. So it looks like it has to be a ground attack to proc this. Lightning orbs last longer. Again, like, we we got legendary lightning orbs. Let's let them carry us, right? Like, y you lean into that. Or is it random? Training, sense of training. I'm at full health already. But if I take a hit, then I at least will heal up a little bit of what I take. And that sounds pretty appealing. Get out! Okay. Oh, that poison goop is real. Oh my god. I don't know why. I, I was just like, ah, that's one of my effects. No, it's not. Okay. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh, what the hell just happened? Level up. Upon taking damage, the next damage you take within two seconds. Okay. Upon taking a hit, leave Venom and Trail. Every three seconds, Poison Ring fan out to do more damage. I'll take combo protection. I guarantee there's like some of the meta progression upgrade is get more of these healing potion things, which... Uh, would have been one of the best things we could get. Can we, like... No, we can't do the uh, jump in the air. Oh, boy. Ooh, Nelly going off. Happy feet. Are we up? More standard training. This feel, like, just the raw feel of this is very good. I... My biggest thing is that I just really hope it gets um, visual accessibility settings because, dear God, a lot of people are just not going to be able to play this just because you can't see what's happening. Oh, I have so much money. Definitely go for the tactics. Upon entering space, if your HP is below 20%, no. After using skill based attack damage, increased by 23% for blank seconds. I think that that sounds the best. And then we'll reduce our entropy. We actually have plenty of, um. We have plenty of HP. We have a. I don't know. We have a, uh, a revival on death. Okay, so this. We'll see where we go on this one. Don't know what I'm dealing with here. Just keep on going. Okay. I can't move. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay. Not loving that. Oh, if that hits the platform, it goes away. I... I... Can only assume I'm not supposed to touch that? I... Yeah, this is a... This one is a visual mess for sure. Okay. Get down, get down, get down! Oh my god, dude! 
What are you doing, dude? I guess I just hang out up here. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's very much a you're going to have to learn how to fight that boss over the course of time. But holy crap. I got a phenomenon fragment, apparently. That That is very much not a sight read that boss kind of guy. Backhand data shows you were in a very strange state for a second back there. Vision was blurred. I received an error message. Well, that strange state is very similar, should I say, identical to your state when you were watching that piece of phenomenon. Something in common? Judging from the evidence we have, that is very likely the case. If you'd be so kind to go back to that place, I hope you can help me check if it was changed in any way. Speaking of which, it wasn't exactly why I reached out to you this time. Hey? Eh? Now you're capable of taking on mind challenges. It's a milestone trial to test the strength of an acer like you. Take the elevator, head to the surface, then go all the way to the right. Someone will be waiting for you and explain everything to you. Gotcha. So that is going to be like the trials, the challenges that we could do to get the coins, to unlock the new characters, all of that. But yeah, a game very, very cool. It's it's tough. It's a tough one. It's got, you know, it's, it's so hard to judge how hard it really is because it's a meta progression treadmill game. So it's hard to, for me to say if the game is actually challenging or if it's just like we're too early on in the meta treadmill to feel like we are strong yet i think that the gameplay feels very tight and cool in a way where i'm like i hope this game gets a patchwork it's like a roguelike mode that's just like a nice clean balanced experience that would be my ideal way to interface with this for sure it would also be the second thing being very important screen shake uh visual effect particle like particles down and flashing and stuff like that down as an option is gonna be a must because there's just so many people that can't play this game like and i might be one of them just from the fact of it's just like it's just it's beautiful to look at but it's also hard to actually play at that point in certain scenarios there's lots of areas where it's totally fine i'm mostly talking about a couple points on bosses where it's just like hey let's make the screen flash red while it also moves in and out while it's also pulsing while it's also shaking and it's like uh, okay and i'm supposed to know where i am i like it's just like a it's a wild thing uh but either way uh it's really good feels very fun to play if that's kind of like that's the kind of stuff that doesn't bother you uh meta progression grind it treadmill -y style experience doesn't bother you if those two things don't bother you like pick up this game you're probably gonna really like it i think it's the core feel of it is very good and that's I would say the most important thing for an action roguelike to get right and where most of them fail. This one does not. The core feel of it is very good. The fighting game experience uh, and like translation over to this game very much shows. It's very tight. Feels good. Uh, alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. My name is Retromation. This has been Blaze Blue Entropy Effect. Go check it out with the link in the top description if you're interested. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.